G'day and welcome to a new episode of Bogan's Guide to Wine. I'm Sir... Sir? That's alright. I'm not Sandy. Huh? Hang on, what's going on? <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's better. There you go. Hey guys, welcome to a very special episode of Bogan's Guide to Wine. This is our 50th episode. Yeah! Yay! Come on! Now, uh, Lurchie, in celebration of our 50th episode, I thought I'd hit up Penfolds and see if they'd send us a bottle of Grange for... Uh... And they got us a bottle of Grange? No, they told us to piss off, basically. So I went into my own cellar and pulled out a bottle of the Penpo uh, Penfolds... Penfolds... <laughs> 389, I've been 389, Cab Shiraz. Four Man's Grange, mate. Four Man's Grange. Hello. Baby Grange, I think they used to call it. Yeah. So this stuff is, uh, being 1999, my last bloody wine with a 19 in the... Uh, so that's been decanted, obviously. How long has that been sitting in there for? Uh, not long enough, really, man. This probably should have been decanted for at least five or six hours, but we've had a game for, what, maybe two or three? Yeah. Something like that. So it's, at least we've given it half a chance to have a brief. But, uh... Alright. Yeah, like I say, this stuff fits $19.99. We're looking at a $100 bottle of wine here, so it's worth uh, giving it a little bit of a decant. And, and it's had how many years waiting for uh, us today? Click, 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 click. 14? 14, 14, 15? 13, 14. Mr. Blues, you're the uh, accountant. Be 14 on the dot. 14 on the dot, well, there you go. Alright, so, in, you know. You spoke. Is that something that happens with 50th episode? It must be, must be. Welcome to the show, Mr. Blaze. He finally speaks. Hooray! Hooray! I thought your voice box got removed as a child or something. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. All right, so uh, let's try out this baby Grange. Let's have a look at it. All right. Now, when I decanted it earlier, it sort of came out quite... Uh, I don't want to use the term muddy, but it came out sort of looking a bit muddy. But I like that in a uh, Shiraz, basically. It's... It's a good indicator, I reckon. Yeah. Legs. Legs are looking beautiful. Okay, yeah, they are. Now, what do you reckon you're going to call that? Oh, uh, it's got to be at least 14. Yeah, I reckon so too. we got a chance to get those legs down. I'm liking the colour too. It's evolved just over time in the bottle into more of a, a brick, like a red brick colour. Yeah, you can definitely see the uh, age in there. It's, I've only had a handful of uh, older wines before and uh, yeah, it's got that really, like I say, brick, terracotta -y sort of look You to look it. at the meniscus on it, and it's it's faded. There's that light burgundy sort of action going on there. It's uh, Which is what's happened. The wine's evolved. Yep. Like the fruit and the acid and the tannins, everything's evolved in together. And hopefully we're going to get a really, really complex flavour. You're not going to be able to pick any one particular aspect of it or hopefully it has it's not gone too long and well hopefully it hasn't yeah. but yeah, let's have a try can't have, a sniff, have a sniff first Whoa. how good is that that's interesting isn't it mm. now I'm, I'm not a real big fan of older wines you know what I mean I, I actually like them I've decided I like them younger you like them fresh and big yeah yeah when they start mellowing out a little bit I find them a little less exciting but that's just a personal thing, but that's what wine's all about. It's just a, how you personally approach these things. So uh, there's no right or wrong. You just well, you're go with your flow. Big, big cigar box there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very earthy. It's got a... Um, and if anything, I'd still, I'd say this has probably still got a few more years it could go. Yeah, I think you're right. It's, it's, it's got a nice um, tobacco-y, but it's really... strawberry... Cherry. You know, as soon as you taste it, it's going to rip the moisture out of your face. It's going to be a big red. It's going to be good. Let's have a go. Yeah. Whoa. Now, there's a wine that tells a story. I think it's really starting to take on those porky sort of characteristics. Do you get that at all? Well, it's gone from. It's not as bitey as what I thought it might be. It's, yeah. it's a bit smoother, but that's good. So the acid and the fruit and everything's all gone into one. The, oh. ma the mouthfeel isn't as uh, luscious as I would have expected. Yeah. You know, like I say, the baby grange is uh, probably expecting too much from, uh, 
from the wine I'm thinking because it's it's, it's, it's it's quite interesting but once again I don't I'm not that familiar with older wines I know you've had more experience at it than me so it still uh, seems quite fresh to me for yeah. how old it is Actually, well yeah I think that's it it's it's got um, almost a bit of a green characteristic about it is that right or it's got that it's got a really really dry finish tannins are still there it's got plenty of tannins to still they haven't mellowed out yet or it's probably got another five years the tannins are quite nice I reckon it's um, yeah very smooth smooth tannins for sure it's maybe we should have let it sit for a bit longer but possibly maybe even overnight well what we'll do is uh, we'll continue on with another episode keep this in the uh, decanter and come back to it later on and yeah. uh, oh, fair call. all right so uh, yeah Price value though, you know, would you pay? Would you be happy to pay a hundred dollars for something like this? No, no, me neither. It's no. uh, there's. A I'm lot just happy I picked fourteen percent though. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. <laughs> it's um, yeah, it's it's an interesting thing to do. I'm not a fan of older wines. I'm, I'm, I've just come to terms with that. I think so. Uh, I'm going to give that a seven. Well, I'm normally a fan of older wines, but this I. Either it's never going to get there, or it's not there yet. So I don't know whether it was a good year. I don't know if it was, was a particularly good year. I, I've had the little penfold book back in the day, and I was a little bit disappointed when I bought this bottle to find out it wasn't one of the better years. So Anyway, I, maybe I'm thinking of Grange, though. I'm confused. doesn't matter. Anyway, it was nice. T certainly not bad. Not worth 100 bucks, but uh, such is life. Like what did you pay for it? Oh, I think I paid maybe 30 bucks for it back in the day. So well, you go, it's worth 30 bucks. It's worth 30 bucks. So, till next time, guys, this has been Bogus Guide to Wine. Catch you later. And oh, happy 50th. Happy 50th, and thanks happy for 50th, uh, sticking with us for 50 episodes. That's it. Catch you later. Not recommended for the faint-hearted, but here's Lurchie's Christmas party trick. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, something that me and my brother do. It's called a fishbowl, and I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. And don't try this at home. At least not without me there. <laughs> Yay! I love beer! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs>